Hey guys, it's Connor, and you're watching The Vinyl Corner. Alright, so the Christmas season was a crazy time for everybody, but of course, we all splurge for ourselves during that stressful time. So each month, we plan on bringing you guys a video where we show off some of our pickups uh, from each month. And, uh, you know, we'll try to keep it in between like five or six. So this first one is Johnny Cash American Six Ain't No Grave. Um, this one is really cool because it's an original from, I believe it was 2010 when this was released. And obviously, that was just when vinyl was starting to come back. Um, it's just a really great album, but it also comes on like this really cool, like extremely clear. So, uh, yeah, for packaging, presentation, and the music, it was definitely one of my favorite things I picked up in the month. So, first off, for me, I'm going to start off with uh, one of my favorite albums from last year, and that is uh, Concrete and Gold by the Foo Fighters. Now, in my opinion, this is the best Foo Fighters album in probably the past decade. Like, they got this one right. I mean, Run and Sky is the Neighborhood are just fucking fantastic songs, and uh, Run definitely deserved the Grammy for Best Rock Song of the Year because... It was the best rock song of the year. Next up is an original pressing of Talking Heads 77, their debut album. This was one of the last ones I needed. Just an incredible debut, one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, just very happy to finally have an original. Next up we have a Record Store Day exclusive that I actually missed this year and ended up finding uh, right before Christmas. Uh, that is Kid Cudi, Passion, Pain, and Demon Slang. This is probably my favorite Kid Cudi album. Uh, this is really what introduced me to him. Uh, I wasn't a uh, man on the moon. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I remember spending a lot of fucking summer nights uh, jamming to this in my car. So. You know, it has a lot of sentimental value. Plus, the Willow Smith feature on this shit, uh, Rose Garden. Woo. Next up is Apostrophe by Frank Zappa. This was a $2 bin find, and every time I see this at the record store that I found it, it's usually like 18, 20 bucks. So for a kind of messed up cover, I will definitely buy it for two bucks. So next up, I stopped at the Halifax Record Fair, which is just a big pretty much record swap me now i've heard a lot of different things about this album and this band in general and that's uh iron butterfly uh this album like i've always seen people posting about it and i actually wanted to check it out and i saw it for four bucks so i was like okay next up we have david bowie scary monsters this is an original pressing uh this is one of my top five favorite bowie albums i've been looking for this one for a little while now and i finally got it and uh really amazing album super stoked to have it the next record i picked up is uh the black sabbath uh debut album black sabbath is early shit is m my favorite I have a lot of their older records from like uh, the late 80s or early 80s and uh, not for me, but uh, the OG shit. All right, so definitely my favorite thing I picked up in the month of December. This is an original pressing of King Crimson's Lark's Tongues in Aspic. Uh, King Crimson has recently been a super obsession of mine. I've liked them for a very long time, but I've just recently been super into them. And this is my favorite King Crimson record. It's a little more hard to find than, uh, say, like Court of the Crimson King or something like that. But yeah, uh, very happy to have this one, like one of my favorite albums of all time. My last pickup is uh, David Bowie's Diamond Dogs. Now this is one I've been looking for forever. Uh, I'm trying to go for a complete Bowie collection, but who isn't really, let's be honest. Um, this is just, it's just a great album. It's, you already know, it's David Bowie. What, what do I need to say? All right guys, so that's all that I have to show off this month. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future pickups, album reviews, and a whole bunch of different other shit all related to music and vinyl.